Okay, uh, this video uh, I'm going to go over configuring your Hyper-V Manager on a Windows 8 or Windows 2000 server that is not in a domain as the Hyper-V host. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, try to connect to the Hyper-V host. and you will go ahead you will actually get this error alright uh, this means that for some reason we're not getting permissions uh, well we're not getting permissions to the uh, Hyper-V host so what I'm gonna go ahead and do first is actually configure the, hyp the, sec the Hyper-V host before actually configuring the client side here so I'll go ahead and log on to the um, Hyper-V machine or the Hyper-V host so I'm going to go ahead and show you a few things here because um, so you know where I'm coming from. Normally the first thing you do is you configure your firewall to accept um, the connections basically. Um, so but I normally disable my firewall since everything is in a secured environment so I don't really need a firewall per se. So, uh, let's see what we got here. Sorry, profile. See? So my firewall state is off and everything. Uh, but normally you want something like uh, net sh, you know, advanced firewall set program you want to turn on the uh, you want to turn on the remote management uh, that this enables you to manage the firewall remotely and you also basically want to turn on like uh, allow the rule to to allow remote firewall not only enable it you also have to allow the firewall to allow it to, to enable it. Uh, but I have it disabled so I'm definitely going to skip that section of it. Um, the next thing I want to go ahead and do here is uh, basically let's go ahead and create a user that we're going to use to authenticate just for this testing. So we can go like something like uh, net use it the old fashioned way. Uh, let's give you a high V test and we put in the password. Hmm. Cool Joe one two slash add. And then we we'll also want to go ahead and add this user to the administration group. So it's a uh, net local group. The group name. And then the username, which is Hyper-V Test. Add it. Perfect. So once we're done here, um, we can go ahead and just we're basically done with the server for now. So we can just go ahead and uh, minimize this for now. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot. <coughs> one, oh, sorry, one thing I forgot. Well, since it's it's already set up, but let's just go ahead and check that. We RM quick configure that would move a file for an RMC. It's already set up, so that should be perfectly fine. So let's go back to the client. 
So now we're in the client. You can see even if I even though I've enabled those section, I try to connect again. Uh, I'll get the same thing. So what I have to go ahead and do. Okay, uh, so we're going to actually do a few things. Um, go ahead and bring up uh, PowerShell. Always run as administrator. I'm going to go ahead and manipulate the um, the host file. Oh, well, it's already there, but this basically you add this entry. This is the IP address of the uh, Hyper-V host server, and this is the name. Uh, looks like it's already uh, set up for my previous uh, testing. <laughs> so go ahead and just uh, put that in and save that. So the next thing you want to do is now uh, configure the computer object for remote access so for that we're going to the um, control panel administrative tools computers and service or compute oh sorry component services you can just right click on this oh, so we need to open it down one level Yep, right. Click on this one and go properties, the computer itself. Go com security. We're not allow this remote access to uh, anonymous. So okay. So yes, uh, you hit an OK on that, then apply, then OK. So we've uh, set it, the actual computer object for anonymous remote access. The next thing we're going to do is add a credential. Um, So go ahead and bring this up. To a host name. So we're going to use a CMD key. Add colon. Now we're going to add um, the Hyper-V server name, which is uh, W Windows 12 2012. Exchange thirteen dash hyper V space user one. Then we're gonna give it the user which we created. Uh, oof. Should have kept that up there or somewhere. Okay, it's a hyper V test. Hyper-V test, that's what we created. So user is Hyper-V test then uh, pass when we're done with this I'll show you exactly um, what we're doing here in the, in the PowerShell. Cool Joe 12. Let me see if I can copy this out here. Perfect. Perfect. Press enter. It says my credential has been credential added successfully. Now, this is a sideline here. If you ever do. Uh, want to change this uh, credential for any reason? Uh, it's actually here in the control panel under uh, credential manager. Is a, yep, Windows credential. 
it's here you can go in here and uh, change your password or an edit change the password of the username depending on what you want to change All right, but we don't want to do anything right now we're fine with it um, so now the uh, I think the last the final thing we want to do is add this uh, add the IPv hosts to the trusted host on this local computer so let's go ahead and clear this up host name yeah, I think that is set item. Perfect. Uh, AWS man column. Put in the name of the server. Oh, what is it? Hyphen. Okay, normally you can use a switch here to, um, what is it? Uh, concatenate to see you know if you already have something there so it doesn't override it but I don't have anything in mind so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that it will prompt you say yes because you do want that okay so now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is basically um confirm that is actually there so I'm going to do a win rm get win rm client perfect so that means we all set alright once that is all that's done it should be all set um, one thing I'll actually like to do is just do a mean RM QC quick config. Yep. Yep. Perfect. So now we can go back and skip connect Windows Server and we connect it and we can add virtual machine, you know, configure the host from our Windows from a Windows 8 machine that is not hooked up. That is in a work group. It is not hooked up to the uh, domain. To the main that the um, it's not hooked up to the domain that the Hyper-V host is hooked up to. All right. Thank you for listening.